environment to work from inside the simulation. There's several things you can do around Brixton so I can set it up. Also, I should be able to create an upgrade to your blast with this. Sure, why not? I need to do is insert a virus into the area to clear out as much Zin security programming as possible. You guard the area and I'll upload the virus.
information from the area around Friendly Fire. Hack that and I'll see what data I can collect. Jobs is showing some strange anomalies. Hack it and I'll see what I can find out. than a little disruption to the Zen systems. See what sort of mayhem you can cause. Ah, oh, they would have made Cat proud. Zenyak, show your face now! Your shit, Zinyak. Think I skipped combat training? I can live with that. Relaxing is dancing. Eat your heart out, Johnny. Simulated carnage. Don't worry, everyone loses to me. Oh, this is therapeutic.
Okay, this is it. One more program to insert into the system and the area will work nicely. Just keep things safe while I upload it. give you that upgrade I mentioned. Okay, that should give me a better gateway into keeping an eye on things inside fake steel port. Here's that upgrade I promised you. Thanks. Sweet. Hey, Kinsey, you wanna fuck? The AI won't help me break into other simulations unless he gets a body. So how do we get him one, Kenzie? The Zin have almost everything in the simulation locked tight, but there is something you can use. A control and interface device. Okay, great. Where do I find one? You're in luck. The Zin have a bunch in transit right now. CIDs to bring a downed hotspot online. Once you have a CID from them, get it to a safe spot and wipe its old programming so the AI can upload its personality into the new shell. Go back to that first hotspot you took down. You can get a CID there. Simple smash and grab, huh? Sure. Go with that. Just get one and take it to a safe spot. You don't want to deal with Zin while trying to hack that device. I'm curious, is there any way to get this AI a body in the real world too? At this point, the AI is purely information. He's entirely digital. You could download him to your phone if you wanted. Why? Does he want a body? Would you want to be stuck inside the simulation forever? Good point. I'll check the ship for a suitable shell just in case. Yo, what? A 
Along with the CIDs, Zinn are transporting a prototype for a contained force recursive feedback projector. Kenzie, that sounds like complete bullshit, even coming from you. <sighs> Imagine a gun that fires a bullet that bounces from one target to another to another to another like a pinball racking up a billion points. Oh. On the next! Careful not to damage all the CIDs. I don't know when or if we'll get another chance to get one of these. Yeah, 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 Kenzie, I got this. Which CID should I grab? It doesn't matter. Just pick one. Kenzie? Don't pin this on me. These things are broken. Would you blow up on me? Yes! Finally. Quick, get to a safe spot so you can crack it open. How far away do I need to be? Just away from the Zin. Pick some place they won't find you. How long is this whole thing going to take? I won't know until I crack open the device and see how it ticks. <laughs> oh, Kenzie's recording this. This spot looks good. Keep an eye out while I work on this. I guarantee the Zen have a way of finding these devices remotely. Shit, they found us. Don't let them take the CID. Work fast. You done yet? Would you like to take over? I could shoot aliens for a while. Point. Kenzie, where are we at on this? Almost done. bit more. Okay, the ID is cracked and clear for uploading. Inputting the AI code now. Great. How long until the upload is complete? 55 minutes. 
55 minutes? These things usually take like three to five tops. Look, the connection in this area is slow. Get closer to a major connection point like a power plant and this might go faster. Why didn't we go there first? Because a major connection point for the simulation is going to be heavily guarded. We'll sit down, load faster? Well, probably, but... And we're taking this thing there. Once Sid's up and running, how long until we can use him to get my crew? Well, assuming the AI wasn't lying, I don't see a reason why we shouldn't be able to get right to it. Speaking of which, who do you want to grab first? Pierce? Shondi? I, uh... I think we should get Matt. Miller? Oh my god, why? Hey, Matt turned himself around after Steelport. He joined at my six, helped us with Cyrus Temple, and... You know, he's... Useful. Ish. Useful? You have a lot on your plate, Kinsey, with all this... Cyber, what's it? Figured you could use the help. I'm doing just fine without Matt Miller. Thank you. Two heads are better than one, kids. And set it up. I'm here. Just need to clear these Zen out first. So much for a hard fight. Flip the switch and done. Excellent. How long now? Uh, Kenzie? That's just part of the process. Apparently the sweary part of the process. The full download should only take about 16 minutes. Is there anything you can do to make it go faster? I'll see what I can find. There might be additional access points we can use to increase the bandwidth. Personality transfer at 31%. I found an access point that can help speed this along. Get to it and activate it. Found it. And it's on. There's a second access point out further. I'm at the second one. Ah. 
All right, both the access points are online. How's the download looking? Much faster. Much, much too fast. Too fast. Sid is overloading. Overloading? Overheating. Get to him and cool him down. Okay, okay, we're good. We're fine. I managed to throttle the connection a bit, so it should be much more stable now. How long until the download's done? Three minutes. Good. So give me just enough time to fight up a few waves of zen. Where did these murder bots come from? Murder bots? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm having a bit of a stronger reaction. Sid, one of these murder bots instead. Do you really want to give some rogue AI an exoskeleton equipped with a complement of weapons and a history of violence? Probably not. Besides, I already found a real CID body for him on the ship. So, you know, synchronicity. Why does Sorry, this hurt so much? Loses it to me. Personality transfer at 74%. Data bottleneck encountered. It's full of stars. That has some style. Download complete. All right, time to kill us some aliens. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret getting Sid a real body, aren't I? Oh, Sid. We're gonna get along famously. Shit, this is great. Uh, Kenzie? He can... His powers to you.
than you. Whoa. Whoa, this is... Why is my brain on fire? Welcome to being able to move things with your mind. There's a giant glass orb here, Kinsey. Yeah, it has more clusters in it. Pick it up with your mind and smash it open. Now use that power to throw things at the warden and take down his shields. I'm sure you'll have plenty of chances to use it. Each scoring area contains a variety of floating rings. The color of the ring denotes the type of object you need to throw it through in order to score a point. Vehicles go through blue, people through green, and the head of our very own Professor Genki through the pink ones. Score a point on every hoop within the time limit, and you win. Good, Good luck. luck! It's murder time, fun time!
Welcome to Professor Genki's Mind Over Murder! Brought to you in part by everybody's favorite alien overlord, Sinyak! That's right, folks. The maven of mascot mayhem has teamed up with the conqueror of countless galaxies to create an all-new Genki experience. As folks at home know, by exploiting weaknesses in Zinyak's meticulously crafted simulation, our contestant has gained the power of telekinesis. But they will have to master the power of the mind to complete the challenges ahead of them today. I can now see why the professor was so eager to join forces with Zinyak. This should make for an interesting addition to the Genki family of games. Right you are, Bobby. So let's meet our contestant. The winner of Genki Ball 7, and our favorite contestant, the President of the United States! Or whatever bits are still floating around in space, right, Zach? <laughs> too soon, Bobby, too soon. Let's get to the action! So, Bobby, how do you think the addition of superpowers is going to affect the game? A submachine gun is a fine weapon, but nothing, nothing! Unlock potential of a human animal. Super speed, super jump, and moving things around with the power of your mind. I'm expecting high action and lots of flailing bodies. <laughs> Makes you wish you had superpowers. And that's it for our first match. Excellent job by our contestant. I need help inserting a virus into the simulation, among other things. Do this, and I will reward you. Do not do this, and you will get nothing. Understand? Yeah, 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 I got it.
always enjoy upsetting Zinyak. Show him you are better than his people at his favorite game show. fans to another round of telekinetic tomfoolery where it truly is mind over murder right you are zach and here with us again today is that unstoppable force and the leader of the free world the president of the united states and what a perfect contestant for the show bobby so far this is proving to be the perfect combination an undefeated human with the abilities of an alien meeting the challenges of the mad professor and entertaining everyone in the galaxy. What more could our audience want? Other than freedom from alien oppression, the reconstruction of their whole planet, and football on the television every Sunday, I think of a thing. Now, Bobby, you know we're not supposed to speak ill of our most benevolent overlord, Zinyak. I'm sure Zinyak had a good reason for blowing up the Earth like he did. A good reason. A very good reason, no doubt. Let's check out how our contestant is doing, shall we? So how do you think things are going for our contestant, Zach? Uh, in this match, uh, or in life in general? I was thinking the first, but now that you mention it, let's talk about the second. Well, I imagine it's not easy for them knowing that they're responsible for the deaths of billions of people through their hubris and what will ultimately be an unsuccessful bid to overtake Zinyak. My thoughts exactly. Bringing about the near extinction of the human race is a heavy load to carry. It sure is. I feel dirty, Zach. We're just the bonds of a megalomaniacal alien overlord, Bobby. It's not our fault. Let's get back to the action. This is some championship-level mind over murder, Bobby. I agree. The president sure is giving the folks at home one heck of a show. And I know Professor Genki is loving it. Indeed. Everybody's favorite mad cat enjoys nothing more than murder, mutilation, and mascots. He does love alliteration, Bobby. I thought that was assonance. Assonance is when the words begin with vowels. Really? Well, you learn something new every day. I can't help but be impressed by this contestant, Zach. I feel fortunate to see this action firsthand. How about you? I... 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 I said, how about you, Zach? I, I can't do this! I can't do this anymore, Bobby! Keep it together, Zach. You hate to upset our most benevolent oh, overlord. I miss my wife, Bobby. So do I, Zach. So do I. Johnny taught me. Another win by the leader of the Saints. Can you expect anything else, Bobby? I have determined where inserting my virus would be most effective. Protect the area while I do this.
The Zin here have been looking for me. Eliminate them. Overload of the system will scramble some of their code. Completing one of the race programs will accomplish this. waiting. Come claim it. You accomplished what I asked you to do, so here is your reward. Now, continue with this task if you value doing everything you can in this world. Guess I don't have a choice. We got Sid, so how do we use him to get Matt? Um, are you really sure about this? I mean, I know 
he can help, but it's Matt Miller. Kenzie, if he can help us find the others, then yes, I'm certain. Now, how does this work? Well, I give Sid the proper cipher to connect to Matt's personal simulation, and he opens the gateway. All right, let's go get the kid, then. I was shocked when the boss picked you to be the vice president, but you ended up working out. That's only vaguely insulting. Look, you sound just like Julius Little. Putting a guy who betrayed you in the number two slot seems like a great way to get killed. I'm nothing like Julius. Kinsey, we're ready. I'm sending Sid the jailbreak. Any last advice? When you're inside Matt's virtual oubliette, there's a decent chance that I'll be focusing on interfacing with the intrusion countermeasures, so pay attention to the console commands. Any last advice I'll understand? Don't get killed. Gotcha. Matt Miller, self-proclaimed hacker guy. Ran all the cyber terrorism to the syndicate back in Steelport. Now he's Asha's right-hand man in MI6. I just hope we can trust him like she does. Hey, Kenzie, how am I supposed to rescue Matt without a weapon? Well, you don't have superpowers either. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the fuck are there giant words in my face? It's the command prompt. Just give me a second. Ah, hell, not again. Damn it! The camera's screwed up. I'll just have to deal with it. <gasps> this is ain't my first time at a top-down tank rodeo. Kenzie, you gonna fix this or what? I'm trying, but I'm not used to the code they're using. Give me a second. Shouldn't have fucked with the president. Could be as simple as. Three D? No, 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 no! Don't put in a space. Oops. Sorry. Finger slipped. There should be three data towers controlling the security of the Matt's prison. And I just blow this thing up, right? Well, I wouldn't want you to go outside your comfort zone. I must say, I am amused at this attempt to save a man who tried to kill you once. <laughs> Actually, twice. No, three times. All the same, what is it you hope to accomplish? 
Mr. Miller is beyond your help. Well, what do you care if I try? <sighs> Very well. Your futile attempts do entertain me, after all. Firepower here, Kinsey. Destroying the tower should destroy the tanks with it. Miss Kensington is rather astute for a human. Yeah, well, big towers controlling security on a linear path. Not very creative for your superior intelligence. Ugh. Touche. to thank you, by the way, Kinsey. For what? Well, I'm in cyberspace and I haven't been turned into a sex doll or a toilet yet. God, are you still mad about that? I said I was sorry. It's not that kind of stick you in your nightmares. Last tower's going down. Oh, I don't think it should be that easy. He's made the tower invulnerable. Hang on, I'll find a workaround. Try something. Anyone counting these kills? This'll work. Yet again, I am impressed by Miss Kensington. Though so this attempt is as futile as the life of most humans. Oh, look, an alien with a superiority complex. Surprising. Though this sentiment comes from more than just the Zin, my dear. Tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. To the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Brief candle, life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying... <laughs> what idiot said that? It's a quote from Macbeth. Yeah, never thought that.
that's proven. And how am I getting him out without any weapons or a key? Chances are it's not a standard behind bars sort of prison. You'll just have to wing it. Normally you yell at me when I wing it. Oh, and since I can't see what's going on in there, Dad will be able to help me either. Just keep those reassurances coming. Z, what's going on? Before you, I place a choice. Walk through the blue door and continue to face yet more failures at saving those closest to you. Your race will live on borrowed time and will, through your violent arrogance, wind up extinct. Walk through the red door, however, and I will release the humans whom I have collected. I will give them amnesty and even a ship from my fleet to do with as they see fit. However, in choosing this door, you will willingly submit yourself to execution. This is the moment where you can prove to be the savior of humanity, or its absolute destroyer. What the hell is all this? This is your life as it led you to this point. All your past violence, crimes, and losses on display to remind you of one simple fact. Regardless of what I have done to your world, you were its greatest threat. The evidence is irrefutable. How many have died because you decided that driving on the sidewalk is faster than the road? Because you used a rocket in place of a bullet. Because you wouldn't submit to my rule. In the end, you only hurt those you are trying to protect. In the end, there is only one truth. The human race would be much safer without you in it. <sighs> I don't know. Wait, is that mad? Trapped in technology he doesn't understand, in a cyber world he can't control. Don't worry, Matt. I'll get you out. Without Miss Kensington. Very doubtful. Behold my empire. Not very big. This is but a glimpse of what I have conquered. This one. What am I looking at? Terror, as personified by your literary culture. The dead pirate with a black parrot? It's a raven. What is the pirate of a raven? <sighs> oh, is this the island that pirate came from? Must you continue to display your plebeian intelligence? Ooh, guess I'm hitting a nerve. I tire of this. Deal with her on your own. Ta-ta. Deal with who? Um, hi. Just pick up the phone and we'll get you out of there, Matt. I don't like the idea of us sitting around. Shouldn't we be picking up Matt? 
The kid could be in trouble. Keith, you gotta relax. The guy's an MI6 agent, for God's sake. He can take care of himself. You needed help getting out, and you're the commander-in-chief. That's a really good point. Why didn't we think of this earlier? Oh, I did. I'm just not a big fan of Matt. Kenzie! Come on! Can't I get some payback? Got a little lost. Big deal. Or he got a little dead. Who knows? Oh, he's fine. He's probably having the time of his life exploring Zinyak's ship. 